lovelies, it's Lex and I have another speed build for you. So I've been on a starter kick like I get on sometimes and just wanted to do another starter. Uh, this one is for, I'm going to say my active household, current active household, but that's a lie because every time I play I like quit playing and restart every time that I play. So they were my current household today. <laughs> I just like can't get invested in them. I don't know. Uh, so this starter is definitely a little bit larger than some other ones that I have done. Uh, because of that, there's definitely not as much stuff in this starter and there's definitely not as much landscaping. Uh, if you wanted to, you could end up getting rid of the like dining room that I have in here to save some money once you placed it. Uh, it's still under 20000 so once you had your sims move in, you would still have some cash left over to, you know, upgrade a couple things or add some things if you wanted to. Uh, that like beveled edged area to the far left in the front here, that's what ends up being our dining room. And then the middle one that has the bay window ends up being the kitchen. I wanted to try something a little bit different with this build, uh, which is one of the reasons why I had less money uh, by using actual doorways instead of just using empty spaces. And I wanted to have the dining room be separate from the kitchen. Usually when I do these starters, they're either like big, very open floor plans with maybe some half walls in between or it'll be like one side's the living room and the other side is the kitchen slash eating area. I never really have separate dining rooms so I wanted to do something a little bit different with this one so that's why we have that there. I love the little porch that I have on the front. I end up changing the shape of it just because whenever I put the columns in I don't like that basically on every corner point uh, if you're gonna use those like little overhangy thingies over the porches um, every single like corner point it wants you to have a column and I don't really like that I liked better in three where you could free place the columns wherever you wanted to uh, but you can't really do that in Sims 4 like you could in, in Sims 3 so that's a little frustrating but I end up changing it to that square one so that yes there's still the two columns but since they're back to back from each other you don't really notice them as much in my opinion I don't know I think it looks stupid without it like it, it looks like there's something missing if you don't have the second column where there's that like a dip down thingy, I don't know. The roof on this one gave me some trouble. Uh, as always, you know that whenever I do these ones that have the cornered roofs, I, I always feel like the roofs look subpar. This one's not terrible, but it definitely took me a lot longer to mess with and get happy with um, than, you know, than normal, I guess. It's not too bad, I don't know. It's just kind of weird, it's kind of awkward and weird. Uh, but I mean, Roofing is not my strong suit, I've said this before, but we're gonna roof, we're gonna roof for a little while here. Hope you guys are having a fantabulous day. I, let me see, what did I do today that was exciting while well, I played with this roof for four hours? I went and got a third rat today, because I'm a crazy rat lady now, too. I went and picked up uh, Daisy's sister, actually. Uh, whenever we got the first two that we have, we couldn't decide between Daisy or her sister, and we ended up getting Daisy. And, you know, we've had, we've had the rats for like a month now, but we kind of like felt bad that we took her away from her sister and that we didn't take them both together. So I contacted the rat rescue that we got the rats from and I said, hey, do you still have, you know, do you still have Daisy's sister with you? And they said, yeah, we do. Nobody adopted her. And I said, well, can I come down and get her today? So I went down and I picked up Daisy's sister. She doesn't have a name yet. Uh, they were calling her Lizzie, but we probably aren't going to keep that as her name. I don't know if I want to keep with like a ghoul theme from Fallout 4 since she's another, she's another Nakey like Daisy is. So I kind of want to name her Hancock, but since it's a girl, I don't know if I want to name her that. I don't know. We're going to have to come up with something. We're going to take a little while to get used to see how her personality is before we commit, but she's very sweet so far. Uh, she looks exactly like Daisy, except Daisy has some black on her back. Well, they don't have any hair, but her skin is like black pigmented and, um, Lizzie will say that hers is not she's all pink so they look exactly the same with just slightly different colors so they're easy to tell apart but personality wise they seem they seem semi semi the same here we did all hardwood I went back to my old hard all hardwood floors I hate the carpet in this game it's just like bleh, it's not for me I don't mind it in uh, kids rooms and sometimes I'll use it in very small spaces but I would rather use hardwood and then put down rugs this is a starter it doesn't really have any rugs here I don't normally save when I'm making these starters but this one took me a little bit longer than other ones have so I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose anything here so the kitchen has all the counters in the sink on one side uh, stove fridge and one more counter on the other side um, 
there's definitely room in this kitchen to like add more cabinetries and things like that but since it's a starter I just don't have a whole lot going on we have our standard TV bookshelf computer I do end up putting a grill and a small seating area on the back uh, and I'm trying to think that's basically it for scale items in this one. Oh, and then I go back in and add in a video game system as well if you download this though like I said you would have money left over so you would be able to add in a chess table or an art easel or whatever you would like but thank you guys so much for watching hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day as always please feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments below for any other sims builds you'd like to see questions that you have about building questions that you want to ask me about anything in regards to things that are happening or anything that you want to tell me at all in your life because i love to read comments and i will see everybody in the next video